Oh my god, starting things is so embarrassing. <sighs> okay, let's just get a bit of breath. Okay, hi, I'm Rowan. I don't know how to start a YouTube channel, but we're just gonna go for it. Um, basically, I've been kind of wanting to do this for a while, and I always thought that if I would do it, I would start with Abercrombie haul just because I love Abercrombie. Probably half my wardrobe is Abercrombie. I have been a loyal shopper there since I was like eight. So now everyone's talking about like, oh, Abercrombie's cute, like they're coming back, but I I've been here. So <laughs> that's doing a number for my I'm not like other girls complex, which is interesting considering that it's Abercrombie of all places. But um, anyway, I did a massive, like unnecessarily large Abercrombie haul. Uh, a couple days ago and the package just came so I thought I'd film it, put it out here, see if it goes. Um, so let's just jump right in. The first thing I got was this white floral midi dress which I think is like the perfect summer dress. I got this in the extra extra small petite. I'll have all my measurements down below but just for reference I'm 4 foot 11 so very short and midi lengths are usually kind of awkward on me but I think this one actually fits really well. The straps are totally adjustable since you tie them yourself which also creates a really pretty delicate feature. In general, I think this has a really great fit with the smock top and the flowy skirt. It's just super flattering, plus it has pockets. But yeah, I think this is just a great summer dress that I'm hoping to get a lot of wear out of. Next, I have three of the exact same dress, which is kind of insane person behavior on my part, but I couldn't decide online which colorway I liked best, so let me know in the comments which one of these is your guys' favorite. But I also thought that this would just be like the easiest dress for me to throw on for work over the summer. Again, all three of these are the extra extra small petite, and I just think they're really cute. Um, I love the wide open neckline with the flutter sleeve, I think that's really flattering. And like the mini dress, these are all smocked to the bodice, which creates a really nice shape without feeling too restricted. And I love the skirts on these, they're a really great kind of floaty skirt, and they almost remind me of the sulky dresses that I'm obsessed with and will eventually break down and buy one day. But yeah, I was kind of getting a similar vibe from these. Here's another dress, this one's a really cute yellow daisy floral print. Again, this is the extra extra small petite, and it's another simple dress for the summer when it's hot and you just want to kind of grab something that's easy and still cute. It's a similar fit and flare kind of style that I find super flattering. It's smocked to the back so it's stretchy while still giving you a really nice shape. And my last dress is this more fitted blue patterned one, also an extra extra small petite. So this was more of a risk for me, it's a much more fitted silhouette than I usually go for, but I thought I'd get it to try out something a little dressier. Plus, I really like this fruit pattern, it's just a little different. And while I do think that this is actually really flattering and it gives me a really nice shape and hugs the waist without having like a super tight skirt that's going to like ride up as you move around, but unfortunately the neckline kept flipping over to reveal the lining. And like the straps on this dress are removable and you can take them off and have just the strapless dress, but I think that that might have been the problem for me because right where the straps attached is where the dress was flipping over. So I think this one will be going back, which is a shame because I really like it otherwise, but the flipping over neckline really bothers me, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway. So then I got two pairs of jean shorts. I haven't gotten new jean shorts in several years, so I thought I'd get a couple to try. The first pair I got were these slightly darker mid-wash ones. Um, they're the Curve Love 90s High Rise Cutoff Short, and I got them in the Zero, which is a 25 inch waist, but these are just too big. I think that if I had gotten them in the right size, they would be great though. It's a really nice quality denim that's thick, but still has some stretch to it. And I like the cut of them, but I just definitely need a size down. I might try to exchange them if they've restocked, but when I was shopping, they were out of a lot of sizes. Probably because everyone was buying new shorts at the beginning of summer. So the other pair of shorts I got were the four inch mom short, also in Curve Love, but I got these in the double zero or the 24 inch waist, and these fit way better. This is like a slightly lighter wash, but these are just like a really great casual short that I can wear all summer. They can be dressed up a bit more with a blouse or just kept casual with just like a basic t-shirt. Uh, they're that same like nice quality denim and I just think they're a good summer staple to have so I'm definitely keeping these. Also they're a little bit longer in the back than in the front which I kind of like because I feel like sometimes with jean shorts like half your butt is hanging out which I don't personally love for myself. This kind of alleviates that situation. Although, to be fair, these are a little longer in general than some of the jean shorts I've had in the past when, like, super short shorts were in, so something to think about. <laughs> so onto tops, I got this in the extra extra small, and it's in that same pattern as the first dress. It also has the tie straps at the top, which I love. 
and I think the cut of this top is really great it's like structured in the front which gives you a really nice shape but it has smocking on the back so it's still comfortable and this is definitely something that you could dress up or down either just with shorts like this for something more casual or you could dress it up with like a cute skirt and then I have this white button down shirt which is very wrinkled from shipping but it's another great piece for summer it's definitely like a looser oversized cut this is the extra small it came tied up like this and that's probably how I'd wear it just with shorts for something easy and casual but still looks put together but the shirt is fairly long and I think if you unbuttoned it it would be really cute to like layer over other pieces next I got this white graphic tee also in an extra small so first things first this is super soft I recommend it just for that because it's so soft and so comfortable but aside from the comfort factor I really like the way this is cut it's like slightly cropped so it's ideal to wear with high-waisted bottoms which is most of what I own and yeah it just has this cute flower graphic and it's just like a great simple t-shirt to wear on just like a casual day and I have this navy blue button-down shirt which I got in an extra small and I think it's so pretty and so cool and just like a really great classic piece to have I love this like deep navy blue color for me like dark navies are such like a neutral staple in my wardrobe and I know that navy blue isn't like a true neutral but I base a lot of my outfits around navy probably because I've been wearing Abercrombie since I was eight and they just didn't used to sell anything black so everything was navy blue and I've kind of just kept that going I guess but yeah I think this is a great classic piece to add to your wardrobe it has these open cuffs which I think are really cool but you could also fold them up for a more like traditional cuff and while I probably wouldn't wear it with these shorts you could definitely dress this down by tying it up and making it seem a little bit more casual so you're thinking why did she buy a sweater in the middle of summer and you're right that's a kind of weird thing to do but I love this and Abercrombie has put out a sweater like this for the past several years and every time I see it they've sold out of my size so I keep missing my chance to buy one and I think they're so cute so when I saw it I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it because they finally have it in stock and in my size so that's why I bought a sweater in the middle of all of these summer clothes and to be fair it is actually very lightweight like a just like a nice thin sweater something you would definitely like have to layer up for in like actually cold winter weather but I digress anyway I love the details and the stitching on this I think it's so delicate and so pretty and feminine and I love that the sleeves have like that fuller shape it's not quite a balloon sleeve but kind of like that um, and then I love the mock neck which also has like a cute scalp detail and it's fit it right at the waist which is great because realistically I wouldn't wear it with these jean shorts and I'd probably wear it tucked into a skirt like come the fall so it's really nice that it's already fit it and you're not having any like bunching and scrunching when you try to tuck it in and the sweaters in the extra extra small and I also got this terracotta pink tank top which I got in the extra extra small I think this had a matching pair of shorts online but I specifically got it to go with this skirt that I'm wearing in the try-on clip which I don't know if you can tell from this distance but it has these like pinkish flower petals throughout the pattern and that's why I got it but um, I did actually get that skirt from Abercrombie a couple months ago so if they still have it I'll link it below anyway this is another great basic summer top it's a linen blend which is a great fabric for the hot weather and like the other tank top it's smocked to the back so it's doing that same thing giving you that really nice shape while still being like stretchy and breathable and easy to get on and off and the straps are adjustable which I always love to see I also got this light blue almost like a periwinkle blue bodysuit to go with that same skirt I don't know if I have much to say about this other than it's just a good bodysuit it's a jersey kind of fabric and has these double straps which I think is a nice detail I'll probably mostly wear this just as like a layer under a jacket or something but it's still cute and then the last top I got was this really simple basic white tank top which is very similar to the other ones I've shown you but has a little bit thicker straps on this one kind of a sweetheart neckline but the same smocking at the back adjustable straps and just like nice form-fitting structured front which I find really flattering I feel like I'm constantly just rotating through like simple white tops with different bottoms throughout the summer so this will definitely get its wear and then my last bottom is this kind of sage green floral skirt it's got a really nice simple a-line cut with just like a little bit of a ruffle at the bottom which just gives it like a little extra flourish but yeah it's just like a basic simple skirt that you can dress up or dress down it's a little more dressed up here but you could dress it down just with like a t-shirt and some sneakers or wear it like this with like heeled sandals to keep it dressier okay and then speaking of sandals the last thing I got were these like tan nude colored sandals and sorry this clip is like weird I'm just gonna be repeating because it's so short but I forgot to film 
something with them. So I just had to, I just had to like stick this in at the last minute. But um, these are just like a great simple slip-on sandal with like a little block heel. Nothing too high, so it's still really comfortable and like easy to walk around in. I got these because a couple months ago I got the black ones and I've worn them so much already. And this nude color is just like super neutral, will go with everything. I would recommend you size up though. I got these in a size six and I usually wear like a five, maybe a five and a half. And these fit me perfectly, so they definitely run small. But I think this is just like a really great, simple, timeless shoe that will go with everything. This might be awful, um, this might be terrible, this might never see the light of day. Who knows? <laughs> We're just figuring out. Um, if you guys have any video ideas, any things you want to see, let me know. I'm open to any and all suggestions at this point. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe if you're into that kind of thing. If not, don't. What am I going to do about it? Um, at some point I will come up with a better outro, but for now, I'm done. Thank you.